We've been seeing more of you and hearing more from you in the last week than we have in a long time. Eyewitness News anchor Roz Abrams, one-on-one -on -one with the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Sorry. Plus, who's the man behind Michael's latest business venture? Roz Abrams, one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jackson. A special report today at 5 on Eyewitness News, right here on Channel 7. The king of pop is working very hard these days to establish a sizable business kingdom. He's teamed up with a big-time entrepreneur, and they are wooing New York's investment banker community. And even though my questions to Jackson were extremely limited, I'm glad I got to go one-on-one -on -one with MJ. Can I shake your hand, my dear? And thank you. Thank you so much. Please. He is arguably the most famous person on the planet. So to sit down with Michael Jackson and talk about his latest business endeavor is, well, what can I say, a thriller. In recent years, Jackson has focused a lot of his time on transforming himself from being king of pop to a captain of industry. On Friday, he invited me and my crew to visit him in his hotel suite, the same suite often reserved for the President of the United States. First question, Michael, welcome to New York. Thank you very much. What brings you here on this wonderful day? My business partner, Don Barden, and myself, uh, we met with investment bankers today pertaining to uh, some wonderful projects that we are doing together internationally. Hey, Michael, New York loves you. New York is where the money is, and the amount Jackson and his new partner are looking to raise totals more than a billion dollars. The partnership is only three months old, but Jackson and Barden have already scouted business opportunities in Africa and St. Croix, as reported by Eyewitness News in May. Their first project is slated for Detroit. Announced last week, Majestic Kingdom is a mega casino hotel featuring a Michael Jackson thriller and, theme park. Uh, we're just all very excited. And if you have any questions for Dunn, feel free to ask. <laughs> We've been seeing more okay. of you right, and well, okay, hearing now, more Mike, well, from yeah. you in the last week than we have in a long time. Uh, is Mr. Barden, like, bringing you out more to deal with the press? Pertaining to business. Business. Yes. You're just really comfortable with him as a partner? I love business, and I love Don. He's a great guy. Michael is a creative genius, and he's a very astute businessman. Don Barden is a self-made millionaire and one of America's leading black entrepreneurs. Barden made a fortune in cable TV, and his holdings now include five radio stations and a Gary, Indiana riverboat casino. Barden is betting that voters in Motown will remember Michael Jackson when casino licenses are awarded next month. And while Jackson and Barden may be 50-50 partners, when it comes to talking, Don does the majority of it. Have you guys known each other for a long time? Yes. And he's stopping the interview. This is not my doing. I would like to talk to Michael some more, <laughs> but Don says no. I'm sorry. Mr. Barden, this may be a partnership, but from all I have seen here in New York, you are calling the shots. Why don't you let Michael talk more? Well, uh, that's his prerogative. It's not Thank me letting you. anybody do anything. Michael talks as much as he wants to talk. He just prefers not to talk a lot. That's his style. That's his business. <laughs> and come back again sometime when you can talk more. <laughs> For whatever reason, there appears to be a seismic shift in Jackson's meeting and greeting the press. The encounters are highly controlled, and the painfully shy Jackson is willing to endure. Why? Well, Jackson's partner, Don Barden, probably wouldn't have it any other way. And the rest, as they say, is his story. Very well said. What a dynamic pair of people. They will we'll go see, places. We'll, we'll see, see what see they what do. Happens. Right now, yeah. it's on paper. That's our report for now. For Roz Abrams, Sam Champion, and the entire Eyewitness News team, we thank you for joining us. I'm Rob Hanrahan.